The doggies get their treat, and Richie's looking for her treat. Here, you need your arm. Alright. Wow, look at those beautiful mangoes. Hello, sir. Can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm tall enough. Here's one there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get chair. I think we need another foot. Let's um combine. I'll put the dog in okay. your head. How about you get on my shoulders? Yeah. <laughs> Is there a bug in my eye? We just finished driving. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Out. I can't quite get that. I'll get chair. We can do like what Daniel does. You just throw sticks and rocks at it <laughs> at the uh, sun tiles. Yeah, and then. then. <laughs> I tried to tell her no, but Richie does what she wants. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Give me the stick. Okay. Oh. <laughs> She's only saying that because I pointed the camera at her. Yeah. <laughs> this is I can't see it. strong branch. Where is it? You got ants on your knee. Yeah, I know. I'll fry them. <laughs> it's it's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give it a good whack. Nice, you got it. Twist, twist, twist. Oh, nice. Very good. Richie, wow. That's a good size. This is a carabao mango. Just be really careful. Good. Oh. Ah. All right, so we have two. Look at those. We didn't know there's a Carabao mango tree back here. And so we looked out the window. That's Richie's room right there. And we're like, hey, we see some pretty big Carabao mangoes over here. There's some really big ones over there. Did you see yeah. those? I want to get that, but... Those a little bit too far away. Scared. Yeah, those a little bit too far away. But this is a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> See you, bro. Bye, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Jack care about Mango? <laughs> He's afraid of the leaf. <laughs> All right. Hello, you lovely chickens. Wake, up, wake us up every morning. <laughs> hey, they're really good pails over here. They get along quite well. Hey. Hey. <laughs> buntag. Today's a big day, putting the roof on. Be careful, guys. Hey. Hey, bro. <laughs> what? Keith White? Hey, Mr. Keith. <laughs> you look different today, buddy. <laughs>
Beautiful, beautiful cow. I think um, this time around 30k. Wow. And what'd you get them for? For, uh, for later for the. I mean, how much did we purchase them for? Ah, before? Yeah. Around 17? Around 17. Yeah. See, cows are a really, really good investment. They just keep getting bigger and bigger. Look, Look at that. Wow, that tongue. <laughs> Go more. <laughs> a little more. higher, please. Higher, higher. <laughs> that tongue is so rough. It's like sandpaper on your leg. Oh, oh uh oh. <laughs> it's time to leave. <laughs> it's had enough. Well, I mean, that's a big cow. Oh, this one, bro. How, what do you call this one? This one. Here. Libon in Cebuano. Oh, it's like a tick. Libon in. Yeah, it's not good to get those off. Relatives of li um, lice. Really? That's a, that's a, We call those. A tick, I'm pretty sure. Let's get a close up. Yeah, buddy. He got a slimy tongue. He likes my salty legs. Yeah, we call that a tick, I'm pretty sure. Tick? Yeah. Look at that fat guy. <laughs> I might stand over here. <laughs> Is that a tick, guys? Look at him. He's like, oh man, I'm pretty stuffed. Have you guys ever seen uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? You know the blueberry girl that ate the candy when she wasn't supposed to? She got really, really fat. That's the, that's one of the uh, characters on Charlie and the Ch uh, Chocolate Factory. All right, he's gonna go over there. Chickens like those. Oh, yeah. That's one good thing. I should have kept that for the chicken. That's one thing, one good thing about having chickens around ticks. is they usually eat ticks. You call those ticks? Ticks, yeah. What do you call Usually, them again? Here, um, Libun. Labun. Libun. Labun. No, Labun. Labun. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that cow. <laughs> He's active today. And that is a huge, huge cow. And this is the same one that I gave apples to the other day. Maybe he's asking for an apple. I gave him the apples and he loves them. Well, it was before our trip. Uh, when we had apples here, mm. uh, I gave him some. I think we should put some. Uh, yeah. He's showing off his. his Hugeness. He wasn't this big before, so they keep growing and growing and growing. Well, man, he is wanting to use those horns. When you call him like, he's responding. <laughs> Your cow is very, very healthy and very big. It's getting bigger every time. Yeah, this is nice. He's going to clear out all this grass. Yeah, he has a long way to go. <laughs> hey, yeah. Good boy. Then goat like that. A, a goat that big, yeah. I wonder what the world's biggest goat is. If anybody can Google the world's biggest goat and leave a link, let's check out the world's biggest goat. How big do you think it is? Do you think it's that big? Yeah. I bet somewhere up there. Usually, bro, below below twenty k, uh, below twenty kilo. Yeah. Below twenty. What's the biggest goat you've ever seen? Before, like um, around huh? around twenty kilos. Twenty kilos. Yeah. Wow. It was around salmon. Yeah. Um, That's big. The male one. And how big do you think that one is? I mean, like that one. Yeah. <clears throat> Around. His dad's really good. His dad's really good at it. We should ask him. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll ask Raven first. What's up, bro? bro? <laughs> Calculator. Calculator. <laughs> His dad, though, we always take him when we go um, to get cows to purchase them, and he's really good at guessing the weight and then the price. Hey sunshine. 130 bro. 130? Around 130? Okay. 130 kilos. Alright, let's ask the professor. Mr. Pedro. How much do you think that cow weighs? We will give you one seconds and three three hours. One twenty-five. 
125? 125. 125. Oh, 125. So close. Yeah, your guess is close. So how, how do we how do we find out how heavy it is? How do we weigh them? Like um if you <laughs> Who's that lady? <laughs> open, open. Depends the kilo bro. The the amount at the market. So how do like, they usually weigh at the market? Like uh, estimation only. Just estimation, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So they guess actually both very close. Yeah. 130, 130, 125. I'll guess 127. Oh, not fair. Huh? <laughs> 127 and a half. <laughs> so here's the process if you don't have like machinery to get it up. It's unique, blue and red. Yeah, blue and red is nice. <laughs> yeah, who's the architect for this? My friend. You, yeah, yeah. Sh shout out to you guys. Thanks for being the architect. <laughs> Remember before the architect? Yeah. And our friend, uh, the famous rider in Apolapo. Yeah. 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 Both you guys. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. Yeah. It's finally coming together. We're very, very excited. Have you been up there yet, Raymond? Yeah. Nice, nice. Always. Nice. There, first signal. Yeah, that, signal there. that's one of the good things right now is that you go up there and you get really good signal. Usually, like we have to come out here, we used to have the hammock out there to get the good signal, and now, once uh, Terrence is completed, we can have really good signal up there. <clears throat> help me, girl, help me. Filipina! Hey guys, como esta? So today is a very exciting day. What? The sign of the, the rope was like, if you stand right here, yeah, you can see that the rope right down a little bit and the other side down a little bit. Like, look at. So it goes yeah. down that way yeah. and then that way yeah. and this way. Uh -huh. Nice. And, uh, right here. That's a smart design. Huh? Hopefully we can get this before it start raining. It actually just finished raining. Yeah. Hopefully it's not too wet up there. Hello? That's gonna be nice. Right now, uh, Raymond has family staying with him. So once this terrace is done, mm -hmm. we can fit lots of people in there to sleep and then in there. So that's just, that's just, oh, perfect timing though. Before Uncle Freddy and my cousin go back to their place, we can eat some up there. Okay. Eat some food. All right, sounds good. So I think today we put the ah. finish done, the roof. Then tomorrow the cover, the, you know, look at near Tantan. The bamboo thing. Oh yeah, they're going around. That's yeah. like the amakan. Yeah, amakan. Like, like. Oh, yeah. like the um little house thing over there. Mm -hmm. I'll go show you guys real quick. The amakan. And that is that going on today? Um, I think tomorrow. Tomorrow maybe. Okay. So this right there, we got the amakan. So that's gonna go around the outside out there. Yeah. So very exciting next couple days. Oh, look at. Baba go. Baba go. Mango! Only two? Up there, one. One, two. That's all I see so far. We picked some carabao mangoes. Richie and I, she climbed the tree back there and got some carabao mango mangoes. Mango? Right in the backyard, yeah. What is this? Just regular mango, you think? Mm, Indian. Indian? Mm. Ah, how do you know? How small. Look at the size. Uh, are these all Indian mango? Yeah. The near our house is the regular mango. Regular mango. So you can tell by the size of the tree? Mm -hmm. Okay. So these are all Indian mangoes. And that, that one. House? That one's regular mango. That's a mango there. At the yeah. 
big one. That was the big mango. Yeah. This month, like mushroom season, we can Ooh, mushroom, mushroom season. season. Remember yeah. last year, September. Yeah. When during rainy season, so mushroom September. October. Last time Nimwell was out there, we caught him catching, oh. getting some mushrooms. Around August, right? So one year. Yeah. I think so. Okay. So good. We can we can try to go mushroom hunting. That'd be fun. I haven't had a uh, good mushroom in a while. Right over there. You think there's some over there? Mm. All right. The bamboo. Okay. Mm. We have, there's only two types of mushrooms I know for sure that I can eat by my house. Mm -hmm. The one's really, really easy. The, I don't know the scientific name, but it's called button mushrooms. Button mushrooms? But, but <laughs> butt mushroom. Butt <laughs> muscle? Not the butt muscle. Butt mushroom. <laughs> butt mushroom. It actually looks like something else, but it's a button mushroom. It looks like a button. Ah, button. Button. Yeah, button. You know button like, um... Button. Button. Yeah. A button. Button. Same. Same. The spelling also? Uh, button oh. and, and butt. What, what's your other one you said? I mean the button. Button, yeah. Yeah, same. same. Yeah, that's just not really a scientific name. It's just uh, like the name that uh, we gave yeah. it because it looks like a button. So yeah, same spelling. Yeah. Button, yeah. mushroom. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay. Alright, so I guess we'll check back when we start to put the rust on. We got a new technique going on. We connected some wire to a hole there. Then they lift it right up. What? Okay. And yeah, here's all the different sizes here. It's like a giant puzzle. This one is bubong. Or the center block. Okay. You can just go and slide right out. No water allowed. Seven pieces. Okay. Don't try this at home. Mr. Tantan. Nice, the be the beverage man, alright. Nice kid. Oh. Uh, yeah. So they made their own drink. Is it an energy drink? Yeah. There's Coke brand. Did you know Coca-Cola? You know Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola. You know like Coke? Yeah. They say there used to be Coke in there. You know what Coke is? It's like a drug. Ah. So maybe Cobra has something in there. Poison. Poison. Have you ever had this before? Yeah. Physical strength. Mm. Mental alertness. Yeah. You can call the company. So this is a. Advertisement. Advertisement, yeah. yeah. Cobra, if you're watching this, yeah. we want our chair. Yeah. Cobra. <laughs> yeah, give us a commercial. Buy one, take one. <laughs> Buy one, take you? Or take all? Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Including you. <laughs> it's nice having a cloudy day to do this. Yeah. When it's really sunny, all of these are like too hot to hut touch. Mm. Kind of like Richie. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Daniel? Tuba. Tuba. It's nice having these lower trees. Look at it drip. It's dripping right in there. They usually change that around two times a day, in the morning and then in the afternoon. Richie, what are you looking for? I'm looking for tangai. <laughs> and is, is that food? It's like leaves for soup, pork soup. It's like for... Nice, okay. It looks like this, but it's, 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 it's not. We have in our neighbor, but Similar. no one is doing. Yeah, we don't want to steal from our neighbors. We're right behind Angie's house. 
their older house. They're uh, eventually going to move up there. Where you been, huh? What have you been doing? Staying out of trouble? This is going to be a new tower here. You guys heard of Detail, right? Detail? Yeah, Detail. We were just informed that they're gonna build a tower right here in Detail. So the good news, well, bad, bad and good news. Bad news, they kind of uh, destroyed. We can't drive through here anymore. But the good news is that they're gonna repave this for us. So that is the good news. Right now we can't drive down here. As you can imagine on a motorbike, it's not very safe, but eventually, I'm not, I, they might cut this off a little bit to drive down there, but at least we'll have a new driveway. But then we'll have a tower there, going this way. Richie is always on the lookout for food. <laughs> Whoa, bro! <laughs> what is that? All right. So this goes into the chicken. Into the pork. Hmm, smells really, really good. But be careful, that's sharp. Oh, okay. Target. Target, yeah. It's like a dartboard. La me cayo. Is it like sour? Yeah. Mm. Aslum. Aslum. <laughs> It's nice when your uh, grandma owns a Sar Sar store. <laughs> yeah, this is all buco. And all that's is that from your mom and your grandma? They did they did all that over there. Hey! Buco. And these are two hard workers. They're always with their mom and their grandma hard working with them. Tan Tan is a professional bike rider. Uh, all right, this is all we need, just two? Oh, three. Oh, we have more than that, okay. All right. Cool. This is for the pork later. Yeah. Hey, be careful. <laughs> You gotta go really slow through here. Okay, I guess we gotta hurry. They're cooking the pork right now as we speak. Hinai! <laughs> so cooking runs in the family. Uh, this is Richie's uncle, mm. which is Vil Aunt Vilma's brother. brother. Yeah, so he's a really good cook too. And then this is Lerny cooking dried fish. Yeah, no. Nice, we have cooked all around. We'll have to taste all the food later. <laughs> And this is the Ofradi cooking. Pork. All right. Pork ilaga. There's the cooking area. Nice. Mm. It's nilatan. What is it? Nilatan. Nilatan. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nilaga. <laughs> nilaga? Yeah. Ah, nilaga. 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 Okay. Nilaga. That, those, those are cool names. And that's just like pork soup? Pork soup. Oh. Pork soup, okay. How'd you learn how to cook so well? Hotel. Hotel, okay. You see that it's very sharp. There's cut a little bit. Oh, is that from this? Yeah. What part cut you? The Here. front or the back? That, this one. Oh, That's so really you gotta be careful. Lemongrass. That is really... Lemongrass. This is yeah, lemongrass. Lemongrass, okay. And I think and, lemongrass, you can yeah. correct me if I'm wrong, does that keep... It's supposed to keep flies and mosquitoes away, or is it mm. just mosquitoes? Mosquito. Maybe just mosquitoes, but that's what, I think lemongrass, I think they, that's what people said. For flies too. <laughs> I think the smell repels uh, mosquitoes, I mm. think. Maybe I'm wrong. 
If that's true though, it's a nice plant to have around your house. It's my body. It's a manager. <laughs> Which one? That guy. Raymond over there? Yeah. The handsome fella? <laughs> <laughs> In the other... <laughs> the other supervisor? <laughs> they're, taking, they're taking turns. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> that is how they play. They're shouting each other. <laughs> <laughs> Then you could do that, Richie. That's like no fear up there. So some of you are asking why they didn't build the room mm. all the way to the edge mm. and that that might be like a waste of space like that in between in there. Mm. No, if you later if you replace the amakan you don't have space to help you don't have space to replace like you need more woods to put at the side to replace the it's hard to replace the it's hard to replace yeah, if they couldn't just by borrow a ladder yeah, or something? something I mean, like could they borrow a ladder to do that instead of making I mean, the room ladder smaller? Is, la ladder is not enough. And also, the makan not good if we move like the side because the, there is uh, the water in the rainy, rainy season. So okay. the ladder, the, the makan, you know, not good for the rain. Okay, mm. so that's some of the reasons. It's mm. If they need repair, mm. um, they have room to squeeze in between there yeah. and work there without getting a ladder. Because mm. some of the materials and tools that you know you may be watching this from, mm. you take for granted. Those supplies aren't here. Mm. You know, it's very easy, like yeah. in America or oh. in another country, mm. you can just easily hey. get a big ladder. You can mm. easily big scaffolding. Like mm. uh, those things are easy to come by here. Mm. It's Black not. Off. So no. that's the reason why they built it this way, so they can easily. Scoot, uh, scoot in between there mm -hmm. and fix it when it needs to be fixed. Yeah. And then the amakin no. is not good to get wet, so yeah. it's good to protect the amakin to last a lot longer. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the reasons why. Mm -hmm. And I so think we can save some budget for later. Oh. If we yeah. change the amakin to oh. hardy place, you can change uh, any time. It's easy to change. Yeah. But look at now, if you put. Uh, it's hard to uh, put a mark on if the hollow, hollow block is right the side, right? Yeah, if it was so all the way to the side, uh, they make it a lot harder. And also, it's easy to hang out your underwear up there. Yeah, that's. The, I think that's the main reason. Mm, because Raymond has very big underwear <laughs> and very smelly underwear, so we try to keep it the farthest Don't distance them. away. Oh yeah, okay, I'll out of this out. It's It's on the roof. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a flag, yeah. Raymond's... We usually dry all of our underwear or in clothes inside, but Raymond's we do the furthest away from but, the house. Uh, you are wrong <laughs> because I don't have underwear. <laughs> yeah, he, doesn't. he goes commando. <laughs> so far, we're very lucky with the weather. Mm. It's not like a really sunny, hot day. Mm. As long as it doesn't rain. Yeah, that's just interesting to watch and makes a little nervous. Like right on the edge, like that. Yeah, here comes the rain. They're almost done too. I almost feel bad. Hopefully it doesn't start pouring down rain. And that's, that's pretty dangerous than being up there when it's raining like this. It's pretty slippery. All right, so here comes the rain. It's probably break time for a little bit. And I guess we'll just come back to it when uh, when they resume, that's a smart idea that they're taking a break. Once it starts, it looks like it's going to start pouring down rain. 
Mr. Kyle's still eating away. It kind of reminds me of Richie. Never stops eating. And Raymond. <laughs> right now, I eat a little only. Why? I don't believe it. Yeah. Every day, like, um, one spoon only. No, no flying roof? No flying roof? What do you mean? Like throwing, no? Oh, no, no, don't no, you're safe. Oh, watch out, run, run, run! <laughs> Forrest Gump! Only 10 spoons, bro, every day. 10 spoons of what? Uh, of food. Of food? Yeah, 10 spoons. Are you sure? And 5 plates. And 5 plates. 10 spoons and 5 plates. How many forks? <laughs> How many forks? How many knives? Oh. How many bowls? Secret. Secret. <laughs> but at least you're fit. Huh? You work out. What do you think? You travel like um, three weeks. So what do you think of my you know? Have you been have you been going to the gym? Little... I think you look stronger. Stronger? I think it's from uh, do you think it's before I'm a little fat, right? I don't think he was fat. Do you guys think he was fat? I don't think my, you were ever my, fat. My face before. Hmm, like something like this. <laughs> because before I sleep a little. Right now I sleep more? Exact time, yeah, more. Well, that's good that you sleep more. Sleep is definitely healthier. You don't want to skip out of your sleep. So, how'd you look like before? before. before. Alright. Okay, well, how now? How about in six months? How about 10 years? How about 100 years? <laughs> how about you? Alright, me? Alright. It's your turn. Alright. Next year. Next year? Uh -huh. Next five years? 10 years? <laughs> 500 years? <laughs> How about you? <laughs> One year. Like this. <laughs> Two years. <laughs> Ten years. <laughs> Hundred years. One year. One year. How about the cow? <laughs> Oh, oh but yeah, I think it's time to go inside. Oh, you guys yeah. are working very hard. Okay. <laughs> Man, so here comes the rain. And that's too bad because they're almost finished. Well, look at that. So just beginning of the day, the roof was not out at all. And now it's pretty much done. Good work, guys. Even the cow's protecting from the rain. He never stops eating. There he goes again. I think he does eat anything. I'm gonna have to rewatch the videos when we first got this cow. Because it's just huge. And that's the awesome thing about getting cows. That's why it's such a good investment here. You know, you get a cow. When they're smaller, I'm waiting for them to ram me. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> you get a cow when they're smaller and it doesn't take long for them to grow. They just continue to grow and then continue to earn money. I mean, you don't earn it until you sell it, but as it grows, you can see your investment getting bigger and bigger. Then eventually they'll sell it and probably get about double the money that they paid for in the beginning. So that's a good, very, very good investment. Mr. Keith. Good to see you're doing well. Very healthy cow. Yeah, good boy. All right, I'll let him be. See you later, bro. All right, hey guys. So if you can hear it outside and see it a little bit, it is raining. Um, it's been like this all day. So we decided to write a song. And we just wrote this. Like this, we probably did this in what? 15 minutes, 20 minutes, something yeah. like that. So it's a very quick song, it's a very easy song. For those of you that are guitarists out there, it's just uh, maybe four chords all together. This is the chorus and the intro and all that, it's just like. And then when it gets to the, I don't really have names for this chorus, intro, whatever. It's just like the other part is uh, just this one. I don't even know the name for the chorus. And that's the power chord. You also play it with the uh, open chords. G, C, D, and I think that's E. 
Put it away. You can play either way. I think we'll do the open floors. Alright. Open floors? Alright. So here we go. It's mm -hmm. called Waiting. <laughs> for that one. Maybe we'll do, do one more time for yeah, the power chords. I like it. All right, we'll do the power chords this time. So that was the open chords, G, C, D, and then like the chorus we're going to call it, or the bridge, or the other parts of the song. It's E minor, I think, or E. You guys can correct me. It might be it's E, and then C, and then D. I don't even know the names of the chords. But we'll try it this way. So these are the power chords. I'm using two fingers. That's all you need for playing guitar. So we're playing this again, but it's not going to be the exact same way because that was our first time playing it, so it could be in a different order or whatever, but we kind of make it up as we go. <laughs> but this is my two fingers. It's fun. This is all you need to play guitar, Richie. All you need. Yeah. So we'll play it again, just in uh, power chords.
If you stop playing the car for like three months and you try to play again, yeah. it's pretty pretty cool. I like when it's do it. <laughs> the duet? Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, she has like the high voice and I have the bad voice. Yeah. <laughs> the high and low. And like boy and girl voice. Yeah, I think so. Combination. <laughs> yeah, the girl and boy voice. <laughs> <laughs> then the punk version. I'm a big baby. <laughs> I need some calluses on my finger. This is a little trick that I learned from Eric Clapton and some other guitarists. Your hands, you know, are really, really dry and to form calluses you need them to be, to be dry. I mean, your hands are usually wet and moist mm -hmm. and soft, especially when you're sweating. So I usually dip them in uh, alcohol. alcohol and it dries them out. When I'm playing the guitar a lot, when I was at home, I used to do this like uh, seven times a day, ten times a day. Just dip them in here mm -hmm. to always keep them dry. Mm -hmm. And some guitars, like I don't know which one, they used to wear plastic bags over their hand when they took showers. Why? Because so their hands wouldn't get wet. No, it's not easy to be different. If you take it to that level, yeah. I mean, some people, like you always have to have calluses on your uh, fingers. And it's not easy to learn. I, yeah, I know that like because I keep practicing. <laughs> <laughs> What's like riding the bike? Once you like, because I haven't picked up the guitar in over three months, four months, or something like that. So it's like riding a bike. Once you learn it, you can play it again later. Mm -hmm. The downfall is that you have to re teach your, or like, you know how they get the calluses back in your fingers. Because mm -hmm. once you stop playing for like a couple months, you lose your calluses. Mm -hmm. and you have to get those again. Here, Richie's turn. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. It's a very easy song. If you do the power chords, it's got one finger here and one finger there. Like one finger there and one finger there. 
<laughs> I think your finger. Is... Small finger. Yeah. I. Well, yeah, just one there, one there, and if you know that chord, you can play any song in the world, pretty much. Well, look where your fingers are. Okay. Your put your finger your fingers are on the same chord. <laughs> one has to be down. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Then doon 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 doon. I didn't know. She'll slowly get it, but really, that's if you learn that chord, you can play any song in the world. So check out the screen, guys. This song, this is the only song I keep practicing. Can you kind of sing too? You're already halfway there. If you can sing it, just learn the chords and then you can... It's nice to have one or two songs. Like if you ever go somewhere and they have an open mic, you can play one song. The G one's probably one of the toughest, but one of the most favorable chords. Probably out of all the songs in the world, the chord G is probably the most used. You know where to put your fingers, so that's good. Yeah. Just keep practicing. You know, not, I mean, you don't have to do it now, but I mean, like, you know, a little bit every day. Like, even if it's five or ten minutes. They say it's not how long you practice, it's how you practice. And I think that's really important. Some people will say, I've been practicing for four hours a day. And you only practice for, like, you know, a half hour. But it's what you put into your time. You know, you if you practice correctly for a half hour or an hour, another guy practices for four hours, but he does the wrong this wrong thing over and over again. You know, it's just like how you practice. It's not how long you practice. Hey guys, so we are out in the terrace. Very soon, this will be like the new hangout area, I think. Yes. 
And I, it's kind of nice because like no dogs, no chickens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if we are watching TV, no one will walk. Well. Yeah, this is definitely even right now. Like I can just imagine it, what it will be like, and it's, I'm really excited for this. This is like the private room. Yeah, it is. So what do you think? Um, what's the finished layout? Do you think? I know we talked about it a little bit last time we were up here, but like as seeing it a little bit more finished. But before we do, look at the like, look at the roof. Unfortunately, you know, it did start raining, so they didn't get to finish it today. But um, they were almost done when it started raining. raining. But, um, so maybe they'll come back tomorrow or something like that. But from this point, what do you think? What do you think this will look like um, out here? Raymond said there's another railing here. Okay, so another for rail there safety. for safety. And then we're planning to put TV here in the wall. Nice. Can hang out here, they can watch movies. Yeah. If, if they want another channel there, Mama and Papa can have their private watching. <laughs> there, they can watch here. And then there's like chair here or a TV because here inside is just the sleeping area. So if you want to eat something, you can just do it here. Come out here. Yeah. And this would be, I mean, it's perfect because. Like for instance, just this time, Richie has lots of family staying mm. over. So having an extra room here, mm -hmm. probably have bunk beds. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to do in here. At least with the bunk bed, it's skinnier. So maybe somewhere out here. It doesn't give you a huge amount of room, but that, you know, what are rooms for? It's for sleeping. So yeah. we'll just put like a, probably a double bunk bed in here mm -hmm. and then fit lots of people. Yeah. And then they have their own bathroom, which is so cool. And this is for school. Yeah. And then just leave it, just leave this like... This one, like this, so you can put your bottle, yeah, like, water. It's like already shelved, so the yeah. amakin will be on this side. Mm -hmm. You put it like, shh, and you have all this space mm -hmm. to put like water bottles yeah, or different, something. whatever you want. And then here, Raymond talked about it before, you know, to have this, it's just enough room to sneak through there mm -hmm. if you do want to replace this. Mm -hmm. So it does make it a little bit easier, because if this was all the way here, It'd make it hard to change it. And you need not just ladder, Raymond mentioned. Not just ladder, but yeah. we call it damba. Because ladder is not safe for workers because you need more than two people to put this. Yeah. And if ladder alone, they need, it's hard. So you need damba. They need to make um, the same as what they did building this house. It's like scaffolding. Woods. Yeah. yeah, woods. And, and they make that here. You know, in scaffolding make, in other countries, you can just rent it, you can just go to the nearest store and get it. Mm. But here, it's a little bit different, so just things are a little bit differently. Mm. Things go about a little bit differently here, so that's kind of the reason why they uh, put that there, so they can easily go back there, replace it if they need to, or do any damage things, or... And like Richie said, we might hang our uh, clothes out there, yeah. or Raymond's underwear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen. Yeah, that, that's all you need it for. Mm. The bedroom, that's what it should be for, just for sleeping, and then, you know, when you're done, you just sleep. You shouldn't spend all day in your bedroom. Your here and look at the view outside. Yeah. So this will be open. Mm. And we'll probably put the, um, maybe some kind of outdoor uh, chair here or yeah. sofa. And then TV, little table. Mm -hmm. So this is the thing I've been waiting for. I'm excited for this. We can, on rainy days, we can play guitar up here. Ew. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Imagine sitting up here. Have it raining, or you know, sunny day, it doesn't matter, but just like playing guitar and having a nice view to look out. I'm excited for this. Yes. This I'm excited is... to bring coffee here and have my coffee dog coffee drinking and just look at the view. It's so <laughs> relaxing. Yeah, sorry coffee, you're not allowed <laughs> up here. <laughs> drinking coffee and just look at the view. Had they decided what kind of stairs they might have coming Wood, up here? Wood, I think, or I don't know. Wood, okay. Wood or like this, I don't know. Because it's going to be... You can kind of see here. That's pretty much probably where it's going to end up. So they probably have a little bit of a base. I don't know how big, but then it has to come pretty much something similar to that. Or slide, slide. Oh, like a slide. <laughs> a slide and a rope down. Because a slide you can go down and you need something like a, a rope to rope. come back up. <laughs> Alright, that's exciting. But I guess that's the update today. Tomorrow, I'm assuming they're going to come back and finish the roof. Mm. Tomorrow they're supposed to start the um, Amakin outside too. So maybe they can get both finished in one day. I'm not sure if they can work at the same time. I'm not sure exactly what's going on tomorrow, but 
It's just, yeah, the roof is pretty much here. They just have to finish those little gaps. They have that side finished. Man, they're so close to being done. It didn't start raining, so that's too bad. They only have like, I'm guessing less than two hours, but mm -hmm. I have no idea. You know, it all depends. But um, we're just close to being finished the roof, and then after that, Yay! yeah, I think we're all excited. It's like save the best for last. This yeah. is the thing that kind of we've all been waiting yeah. for. I like it here. Yeah. Hangout area. Yeah, for sure. This is cool. So like, if you do have a lot of people over, mm. maybe a group can be downstairs watching mm. TV or doing whatever, and come up here. The uh, other people can come up here. Yeah. So that's cool. Mama, especially Mama has a big family, and sometimes they visit here. Yeah. Just like. Now, mm -hmm. and then they stay yeah, yeah, they're kind of just sleeping on the floor right mm -hmm. now in the living room. And then eventually they can come sleep up here. So what do you think? Let's call it a day. Call it a day? Thank All you right. so much for watching and thank you so much for supporting. <laughs> thank you. You know who you are. Yeah. So uh, I guess we'll call it a day. And we'll see you guys later and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.